Okay, so in these times, it's always going to be much easier for us to be negative more than it is to be positive because all it is is that really being positive, being optimistic, being happy, being excited, all it is is just a perception of how you're feeling of the stimulus of the static energy that you're creating via what you're observing as far as the outcome you're trying to reach, even in the darkest of situations, right? So it's not the, it's not the fact that there's negativity happening around us. It's the fact that, that we lack the ability or I lack the ability to observe positivity even though i'm in the midst of negativity right because the universe doesn't even care eventually the universe will just give you whatever you did, whatever it is that you observe the most right if you create so much let's say you create so much bliss in your body and i've already done that i already know how to do that but sometimes like you know every day is a back and forth battle between where you decided you want to be versus where you was uh, at uh you know 10 minutes ago or five years ago or five months ago or one month ago or whatever right so it's, it's a battle going on for your attention right because what your attention does your ability to pay attention like though the pilot said, it creates tension right so when you're able to create tension at a location a space that you're observing constantly continuously it starts to create a snowball effect now that snowball effect it outweighs other influences or energetical interferences in that situation that you're experiencing, right? So let's say you, you was paying attention to bliss, joy, happiness, and it had nothing to do with your dad giving you a Mercedes. It had nothing to do with how other people outside of you was treating you or perceiving you. All it had to do with was that you knew that you was the one in control of your own state of mind, so therefore you can manifest whatever it is that you want by design. So now that let's say you... You created this sense of happiness, this optimism, the sense of bliss, because this is what's this is gonna be like the filtering system, aka the rose-colored glasses, which by you will see the world and shit like that, right? So you created that now, and now regardless of a negative situation that's happening in front of you, you lack, you don't interact with it, you you don't feel it, because it's not even inside of you in the first place. It's like the TV's talking about fear, worry, doubt, ah oh, nah, this happened, this happening, be scared, be worried, blah blah. blah. Man, you in a fucking state of bliss. That shit, that shit, you know, that influence that's being, that's being presented from outside of you is contrary to the waves and the impulses and the stimulus that you have created inside of you. So even though and another person could be sitting down watching that TV, they're going to be like, oh man, fuck, this happened again. Their whole day goes off. Now they're yelling at the wife, they're yelling at the kids, the children. Man, I'm trying to give you a fucking happy meal in the, uh, uh, when you stepped out of the house. Man, you still pissed off and that shit was for fucking free, bro. So that lets you know that people already be in these energies and be in these spaces, right? Because all I got to do now is just trigger it out of you to see where you're at, right? It's aka being an esoteric sniper, right? Because whatever people, because look, we react to things a lot more that agrees with our internal state, right? Like, I don't even recommend, I guess say you're an optimistic, blissful, happy person and shit like that, you see the positive outcome in the situation, regardless of how negative it is, I don't even recommend you be around other people who are just negative as fuck, because they're not going to understand why you in the space that you was in, but they're going to understand that also the space that you was in is benevolent, and they really gonna, they really just going to suck your energy off of you, and if you're willingly willing to give it to them, eventually you're going to get pissed off, and you don't feel like your space is being smothered, because whatever you re uh replicating and duplicating as far as an energy source they're not in that space necessarily to give you that same type of energy back and neither is they being genuine about what they what they actually are around you for right and so we can't be walking around as fools out here either be hanging out with people that are not even in the space that we want to be at right you gotta hang out with people and listen to music surround yourself with influences of people that you know are at the space are at the space that you want to be at or at the space where you want to go at least and shit like that right so it's easier to be negative not based on the fact that it's easier to be negative it's just that a lot of people either haven't went through enough negative situations in their life to just decide man fuck it i don't want to be negative anymore because if you can genuinely select every second every minute every day what stimulus you're observing and what stimulus you're creating and you know how to consciously do it there's no way you'd want to go back in the past right but a lot of these, a lot of our internal demons, a lot of our internal emotions, when we're trying to give birth to something new, because we're on a Scorpio season, so you, you know, you better be birthing something new, giving death to something old, so you can replace it with something new, right? A lot of those old things is going to call back to you, right? They, they're going to create some type of imagery, 
right? Oh, look, this happened to us in the past. Remember when our dad used to talk shit to us? Your dad used to beat your ass. And remember how he treated his other brothers? Was how he, and I'm talking about myself, right? But what am I saying, right? I'm saying I have a conscious choice. I can either agree with my feelings and be like, yes, feelings, you're right. This and this happened to me. I am a victim. I deserve to feel bad. I deserve to feel horrible. And I deserve to feel like shit. And my anger is justified and I should be fucking angry. Now, I could decide to do that. Or I can decide, you know what, man? I'm in the present moment, thankfully. I I've survived. I've been through a lot of things, but I'm here now. I'm grateful. And you know, hey, man, uh, it's great to be here. Now, I I'm looking at this other possibility, brain, e emotions, okay? What if what, what if I was already already in, in love with myself? What if I didn't require validation approval from my own mother and father? Right? What if I wasn't already in love with myself? I'm like, you know what? Man, I like that. How, how would that feel like? Man, you know what? I, I would feel satisfied right now. I would feel excited because I know that I'm creating my future consciously every single day. So you know what? Yeah, I like that potential way more than I like that potential. AKA that's your North Node and your South Node in astrology, right? Because your South Node is what keeps you comfortable. It's the, it's the thing that you're familiar with. It's the things that, uh, you know, Keep you kind of like docile in a way. You're not really moving forward towards, towards your goal, but your north node is the things that make you feel uncomfortable. But see, even dealing with the things that you're uncomfortable with, like, you know, whatever it is, you should be coming at it with a sense of excitement, enthusiasm, because that'd be, that's better than fear, worry, and doubt. That's what the government is trying to put people in. That's why it's so easy to be negative because everyone else around you is already negative. Your brain is already confirming that. It's like, yes, everyone around us is negative. So therefore, we should be negative too. This is just reality. And our, your brain is going to look at you like you're crazy. So your brain is going to be like, Negro. Your brain is not going to tell you that. But this is what, I'm basically rephrasing what your brain is going to tell you, basically, in another way. Your brain is going to tell you, bruh. Your brain is going to tell you, sis. You're telling me that you want to create a vision that don't even fucking exist, that you have no reference point for? So you're telling me the kingdom of heaven is within? You're telling me that the, bl that the blissful state is within? And when we look outside, nigga, from all the influences we've received, let's say your subconscious mind, your subconscious, unconscious talking, subconscious is going to tell you, bruh, we received all these negative influences in our lives and nobody has emotionally invested in us. We are emotional, we are feeling an emotional deficit. And you're telling me you're creating a vision where you are fulfilled. You're telling me you're creating a vision where you're satisfied, happy, and not upset. Negro, get the fuck out of here. But the best part is, the best part is your brain does not know the difference between the past and the future. Because that, because you created that shit in your full fucking brain. Now, what you, now, now it's basically going to be a seesaw battle between the waters that drag us to the past, aka our emotions, our memories and things like that, the fluids that we accumulated, the fluids, remember, you already accumulated something like a snowball effect. And because of that, you're currently living this fucking life that you call life. But life is just nothing but a mirror. Your life is just mirroring to you. Whatever energy you put into yourself, that's what you're going to get out of yourself. Whatever energy you receive from outside of yourself, that's the energy you're either going to accept subconsciously or I, I don't, or don't accept it subconscious because it doesn't agree with your internal paradigm. So yeah, somebody's pissed off at you outside of you, but your internal paradigm says that, hey, I'm creating a future where I'm satisfied, where I'm happy. So now you deal with that situation in a much more balanced way because you already projected onto the future that this is who I am, this is who I am, this is who I want to be. And whatever situation that comes to you, you're still going to be able to deal with it from a balanced state because you're no longer in, that, in those past memories that say, Life is tough. Life is ruthless. And life is ruthless sometimes. But you got to understand that this is you, you're in charge of your experience. You're in charge of the waves that you are creating with your mind. So if you're in charge of the waves that you're creating with your mind, you might as well make that shit some benevolent fucking shit. And this, I, I'm telling you right now, the most powerful people in the world is the, is the people that can still handle and go through the most situations, but they're still reluctant to look forward towards a bright future because it exists regardless of how influenced 
regardless of how negative things may be around you at the moment. Because, man, I'm telling you, you create the future. I'm telling you, George Washington and them motherfuckers, they came together and they created the future. And I'm telling you, just like the Soviet Union, just like the motherfuckers in Africa, well, I'm not sure if they're creating the future that right now, they're probably getting fucked in the butt by an external organization to them how to, how to create the future there. But regardless of that matter, we have men walking the earth today. Athletes, magicians, occultists. Uh, prophets, all types of men and women walking this damn wonderful earth, and they are creating this the future as if oh, as if it already existed now in the present. So let me ask you, my educated brother. Let me ask you, my educated goddamn sister. What do you want the future to look like, and how would that shit feel if you were to bring it into the, into the present? Because I'm telling you right now, as God is my witness, your brain does not know the difference between the future you claim you want to live in and the past you so believe exists now in the present. And with that, I'd like to leave you with this. Take care of yourself. Make sure you manage your mind every second, every minute. Grab, you better grab hold of that thought. Grab hold of that feeling and tell it to sit the fuck down and you pay attention to something new and you, you that, that shit should become exist, existent now. You should talk like it now. You should walk like it now. You should sen you should you should be sensing it now. You should it should literally levitate you out of the chakra ball that you created for yourself, out of that ocean that in that's in motion for yourself. And you should be looking forward to another you should fly like fucking Superman out of that fucking shit. There's so many ways I could say it, but there's so little ways I could describe it. Well, well I'm lying to myself there, but you get it, I get it, we all get it. So let's create the goddamn future. Because isn't it bright if we demand it for it to be bright, goddammit.